Today, I'm going to create a fiery beauty image using a special effects tool called the Smoke Genie. everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and I'm always looking for special effects to add to my images. Whether it's haze in the room or it's special filters, I'd like to add a little bit of something extra, a little bit of atmosphere. And that's what we're going to be doing today. As I was doing some research for a workshop, I was looking for a portable fog machine to shoot in a palace, and I came across something called the Smoke Genie. And so as I did my research, I found out that it is it's pretty awesome. Uh, first of all, it's handheld and it's USB charged, so you can take it anywhere, which is great to not be tethered. Also, it produces haze, fog, or liquid smoke. So as I started to dive deeper into inspiration, I saw with the liquid smoke, it almost looks like liquid nitrogen. And so you can have it cling to the ground or even cling to the subject's clothing. And so the inspiration for today's shoot is that exact effect. I was actually thinking about the Disney movie, Hercules, where Hades has his hair looking like it's kind of flames and smoking. And so I wanna do that, I wanna do a fiery version where it looks like her head is just kind of exploding with smoke and flames. Now, one of the risks, if I tried to do this with another effect, perhaps like liquid nitrogen or dry ice, is that I can't have it too close to her. I also don't want it to smell bad. And what's great about the Smoke Genie is that it's room temperature, so it won't be too hot or too cold, and it's odorless, which I also got excited about for some of my fashion shoots, because if I'm borrowing couture clothing, I don't want it to have a stale scent that sometimes you get from a fog machine. As I started to experiment with the Smoke Genie, what I found is that it has 25 different modes and I got the Pro Kit, so it has all these different attachments so it can do a ton of things. Like I can attach this little fan and, and fill the room with haze or I can attach this little nozzle and have it so that it's almost like the dry ice clinging to the subject and that's what we are going to do here. So I'm going to start by building in my light and this is going to be a four light setup. Again, I want everything to be fiery, hot, playing with warm reds, yellows, and oranges. And then we will add the special effect to the scene. So I am going to turn off all the lights and build them in one by one so you can see how they contribute to the shot. Okay, perfect. All right, so to set the scene, we started off with a Savage Universal Thunder Gray background. The idea behind this is I knew there was going to be a lot of smoke coming off of her head, and so I wanted a darker background to contrast that smoke so it would really pop. Now let's talk about our first light. Over here to the left-hand side of the frame, I have a Profoto D2 and on it is a 10 degree grid. This light is going to create just a tight pocket of hard light on the face. So that's going to be the main light, the main illumination on her, and then we'll start to build in the color and the mood. As you can see with the main light, it's creating this beautiful, hard, contrasty light on her face that is nice and concentrated, and because she has gorgeous bone structure, it's only emphasizing her features. So that looks beautiful, but because we're using a grid and the background is dark, everything is falling to shadow. And so I don't want the picture to, to look too flat. I wanna have a little bit of depth, and that's where we're gonna add the second light into the equation. I'm using a Profoto D2 on a floor stand, and on it is a red gel. This red gel is pointed kind of towards the ground and the idea is it's going to create a gradient of light. The red is going to be bright and saturated at the bottom of the frame and then fade to darkness towards the top. All right, so just like I said, super saturated at the bottom and it gives me this gradient for depth to the top of the frame. But now I have to think about how I'm going to emphasize the smoke that we're going to be adding. And the idea that I have is that the smoke is going to show up most if backlit. That's why on either side of the frame, you can see I have a one by four foot strip softbox with a grid. But to emphasize the color palette we're going for here, something fiery, is on each of these strobes, we have an orange gel. And so what it's going to do right now is just create rim lights on either side of her hair and on her shoulders. But I know that once we add the smoke to the equation, this is what it's going to really give me that fiery look. So let's add our next two lights. You can see how those two lights are carving out the sides of her body and her hair, and it's giving us an analogous color scheme, meaning colors next to each other on the color wheel. And it looks good, but you're not really seeing too much of that orange, but you're going to now once we add the smoke genie to the equation. So I'm going to have Caroline help me out on this. So in our research in the behind the scenes, when we saw that, that kind of clinging smoke effect, it had this nozzle with the diffuser at the end. 
So you want to give it a try and see how it's looking and I'll grab a shot. So just a couple of things that I want you to notice. First of all, the smoke came out instantly. That's one of the benefits, one of the uh, features of the Smoke Genie is that there's no warm up time. So it's ready whenever you are. I always am impatient when I shoot and when I have to use a smoke machine or a haze machine, I have to wait a few minutes for it to turn on. It is always a waste of time on a productive set. So I love that about this. Next, you'll notice how my, my assistant kind of traced around her head and it creates this path of smoke. The reason we selected our subject with her hair down is because if we put that end of the nozzle actually in her hair, the smoke will cling in it, will stay in it. So that once my assistant moves out, then the smoke will start to seep out of the curls. So let's do one more. I love that I look behind and I can actually see that her head is still smoking. It is an awesome effect. And so if it's just when the haze is actually in the frame, it's really strong and really dramatic, but we can also let it sit a moment and be something more subtle. Uh, now, if you have worked with haze machines or fog machines a lot, you know that it really fills the room. But what is nice about this is I can still maintain the poppy contrasty images and put the haze where I want it rather than it just filling the space. So this is great because it's, it's liquid smoke. It's not just haze, it's not just fog, but it actually clings to her, which I'm obsessed with. So this image that I've taken here, it is no posing, it's just straight onto camera but I feel like the lighting and the smoke, they're doing the heavy lifting because it already looks incredible and dramatic. Now to capture the images of my subject, I'm going to be using the Canon R5 and the Canon 24 to 105 RF lens. I'm going to do this because I'm going to capture some shots that are really close so I can see the fog wrapping around her face. And then I'm going to do other shots that I can see that haze, that smoke kind of trailing off for more dramatic compositions. As I direct my subject, I'm going to try different angles to see how the light rakes across her. I'm gonna have Caroline, my assistant, wrap the smoke in different positions. So I'm just gonna try a bunch of different variables and I'm gonna add one more to the equation by adding a little bit of styling. We have another styling element of this beautiful dress with dramatic shoulders that is in the right color palette and takes this into more of a futuristic realm. So with that, I have all of these incredible elements. Let's get the shot. from the Smoke Genie is awesome and it looks even better than I envisioned. It allows me to have smoke and haze without it just being a, a you know, broad environmental effect, but instead having it be very targeted on my subject. I definitely think this is going to open up a whole bunch of creative possibilities, especially when it comes to my beauty and fashion photography. So if you wanna see the gear used to make this image from the lights to the Smoke Genie and the tools, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And of course, visit Adorama.com. I hope you've enjoyed this new technique, new tool that I played around with. So be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time, guys.